Today we start the list of our lectures about blood pathology. The blood performs in our body various functions. One from this is transport of substances, hormones, electrolytes, cells, fluids and cells and biological active substances. Respiratory function is transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Trophic function which complete transfer of nutrition to the tissue and remove of metabolic process. Protective function it means activation of uh, phagocytosis, bacterial properties, immune re uh, reactions, trans uh, transportation of antibodies and immune lymphocytes. Hemostatic function contain, uh, ma maintains of liquid state of the blood to norm and its coagulation in response to hemorrhage. Depend to disorders in blood, all disorders can subdivide on the total blood volume disorder, quantitative, hemostatic disorders, biochemical uh, pathologies, physical properties and changes in blood system are called by hematological syndrome. Systemic blood disorders uh, complete uh, disorders of workability, which combined with hypoxia can be circulatory due to the blood loss and hemic due to the development of anemia or hemorrhage. Immunological reactive pathology, pathology of hemostasis which complete with uh, hemorrhage and thrombophilic syndrome, tissue destruction and cohexia which development due to the leukemia. Today we start uh, part of red blood cells pathology. Normal shape of erythrocytes, it's deconcave or disc shape. It's well known information for all students. Normal size of erythrocytes from uh, 7.5 till 8.5 micrometers. Function of erythrocytes, it's transport of oxygen in our body. The normal value of erythrocytes in numbers depend to male and female can divided on the three point, from 3.9 to 4.7 times 10 to the power 12 per liters in female and 4.5 to 5.0 in male. Level of hemoglobin will vary from 120 to 140 gram per liter in female and from 140 to 160 gram per liters in male. Color index is uh, range of uh, hemoglobin in erythrocytes and normal measure of color index in blood can uh, be from 0.85 to 1.15. To calculate color index we have formula which completes this information. We multiply 3 in level of hemoglobin and divide in first 3 uh, numbers of erythrocytes in blood formula. All immature types of erythrocytes have named reticulocytes and level of erythrocytes in healthy person can be from 0.2 to 2%. Uh, the first and most important what you should know and which pathology we will choose like first one in red blood cell pathology is change total volume of blood. We know that hematocrit is proportion between uh, cellular component and plasma component of our blood. Blood volume disorders manifest themselves like hypovolemia or hypervolemia. When uh, we differentiate, it depends how we'll change total volume of blood. Uh, normal volume of uh, blood in body is near the 6-8% from body weight. So, or it, um, if you calculate, it will be 65-80 milliliters of blood per one kilogram of body weight. All uh, volume disorders can subdivide in three types. It can be normal volemia, hypervolemia, and hypervolemia. Normal volemia is a simple proportion of uh, level of gamma to create. Uh, in uh, hematocrit it's plasma to cellular component. Level of plasma should be ranged from 48-62% and cellular part 36-52% uh, um, from blood volume. We have uh, three types 
of hypovolemia and hypovolemia can be simple oligocytemic and polycytemic. Simple hypovolemia when blood volume reduction without hematocrit index changes arise immediately after acute blood loss or in situation of acute uh, post-hemorrhagic anemia. Oligocytemic hypovolemia when blood volume decreases with plasma prevalence and level of cells or cellular component will be less than level of plasma is observed in acute blood loss till uh, normal blood volume occupying restored by uh, tissue fluid. It will be uh, in second period of compensation acute post-hemorrhagic anemia. Polycytemic hypovolemia, when level of uh, cellular component prevalence and level of uh, plasma part developed in, a, in situation of dehydration or uh, in situation of diarrhea, uh, vomiting, increased uh, perspiration or uh, hyperventilation. About hypervolemia, hypervolemia also have three types can be simple, oligocytemic and polycytemic. Simple hypervolemia occurs uh, right after transfusion of large amount of blood. It can be experimental method condition. Oligocytemic hypervolemia uh, will be uh, in situation in water retention in organism due to the renal disorders or in uh, substitutes are uh, injected. And polycytemic hypervolemia will be in situation of hypobaria or in a state of hypoxia when will be hyperstimulation of uh, hematopoietic tissue due to the overproduction of uh, erythropoietin or in situation of uh, neoplastic process uh, hyperplasia in bone marrow. Uh, it can be polycytemia vera. Uh, or erythremia or in leukemia. Oligocytemic normal volemia occurs in anemia of different forms and polycytemic normal volemia uh, can be in situation of transfusion or any amount of red blood cells. In our body, in some pathological forms, uh, some pathological process, we can subdivide uh, erythrocytes in three groups. It can be regenerative form, degenerative form, and cells pathological regeneration. In situation of regenerative type, we will have uh, hyperstimulation of uh, hematopoietic stem, hematopoietic tissue. It's increased amount of reticulocytes more than 2%. Depend to maturation, we can find in blood stippling and mesh type of reticulocytes. Regenerative form also include uh, basophilic substance, uh, substantial of erythrocytes and polychromatophils, which also can be in group of regenerative. In the generative form, we have three groups. It can be poikilocytosis, anisocytosis, and anisochromia. Uh, what does it mean poikilocytosis? Poikilocytosis is different uh, shape of erythrocytes. An example, it can be ovalocytes, spherocytes, cycle cells, target cells. Some anemia are manifested uh, themselves through the appearance of specific pathological forms of erythrocytes which severe in uh, like diagnostic uh, sign, diagnostic test. Second group, it can be anisocytosis. It's mm -hmm. different size of erythrocytes. Can subdivide in four types, four groups. It can be normal sites in normal range from seven to eight micrometers, microcytes less than <coughs> seven, uh, and five micrometers macrocytes more than eight, nine micrometer, and megaloblast when size of erythrocytes will be more than uh, <coughs> 12, 10 micrometers. All these types of erythrocytes can characterize different forms of anemia. Poikilocytosis are present in blood picture different types of erythrocytes. It's mean uh, 
megaloblastic anemia presence, iron deficiency anemia presence, uh, hemolytic anemia, they are present. So these cells can characterize different forms of uh, anemia. Uh, pathological cells of regeneration, complete group uh, cells from megaloblast and megakaryocytes. When the size of red blood cells diameter will be more than 1.5 micrometers. Uh, these cells can be present in anemia with degenerative forms of uh, hematopoiesis. It will be um, B12 deficiency anemia, folate deficiency anemia. Uh, also, we have a in the group with pathological inclusion, which complete keyboard rings, hollow body, which also have uh, um, specific mechanism of uh, manifestation in different types of anemia. When amount of erythrocytes will be more than six uh, cells times 10 in to power uh, 12 per liter, uh, this process has name erythrocytosis. Erythrocytosis can subdivide on the family or hereditary type and uh, from primary group and secondary, which can subdivide on the absolute and related. Absolute erythrocytosis will be in situation due to the overproduction of red blood cells due to the bone marrow. It can be hyperstimulation of uh, erythropoiesis due to the hypoxia of the kidneys, uh, hypoxia of all body, negative effect of uh, hypovaria, also in situation of neoplastic process of hematopoietic tissue and relative erythrocytosis which can be present in our blood in situation when uh, level of red blood cells uh, depends to level of plasma in hematocrit will be more. It will be in situation of hypohydration, it will be vomiting, diarrhea, insufficiency of plasma, which can lead to insufficiency of plasma in our body. Hereditary erythrocytosis have name uh, erythremia or vacuous disease. It's true polycytemia due to the chronic leukemia or hyperstimulation of uh, hematopoiesis cells of precursor of myelopoietic link with unlimited proliferation of hematopoietic cells. Uh, generally, vacuous disease uh, can characterize few positions. It's uh, full increase uh, amount all blood cells and all um, uh, measures in blood. The hemoglobin over than 180 gram per liter, erythrocytes over than 6, platelets over than 400, leukocytes over than 10, and total amount of hematocrites will be more than uh, 60. Anemia. Anemia is the most popular uh, disease at blood cells pathology. Anemia is a syndrome of disease which characterized by the decrease of erythrocytes total amount and hemoglobin in a unit of blood volume and accompanied by the qualitative change of erythrocytes. Anemia can cause uh, different factors but uh, depend on etiopathogenesis we can subdivide anemia in three groups. Anemia due to the excessive bleeding, due to the blood loss, post hemorrhagic anemia. Anemia due to the inadequate production of red blood cells of the generative type. And anemia due to the excessive destruction of red blood cells, it's a hemolytic anemia. According to etiology, can subdivide in the hereditary and acquired type. According to pathogenesis, this erythropoietic, hemolytic, and post hemorrhagic. According to type of hematopoiesis, can be erythrocytic and megaloblastic form. According to color index, can be normochromic, hyperchromic, and hypochromic. Uh, we know the color uh, index range from uh, 0.85 to 1.15, and uh, depends to this range, hypochromic anemia will be in situation when color index will be less than 0.8, uh, normal chronic in the range from uh, normal level of uh, color index and hyperchromic in situation when color index will be more than 1.15. According to ability of regeneration bone marrow, anemia can subdivide it on the four types. 
regenerated, hyperregenerated, hyporegenerated, and unregenerated. Uh, depend to size of erythrocytes, all types of anemia can subdivide on normocytic, microcytic, macrocytic, and megalocytic type of anemia or megaloblastic. We can classify anemia according to underlying mechanism. First one, it will be due to the blood loss, which can subdivide on the acute and chronic. Acute is massive trauma when patient at one time will lose uh, volume of blood more than 500 milliliters. Chronic is uh, anemia when patient during the one day will lose less than 25 milliliters of blood and uh, this anemia uh, will develop uh, in gastrointestinal tract pathology it's uh, leading from uh, ulcer in stomach or in duodenum in um, gastrointestinal system in hemorrhoidal bleedings uh, in some gy uh, gynecological uh, disturbances uh, second one, anemia, which can be present in increased destruction of erythrocytes, is hemolytic anemia. And third type is a, in the development due to the impaired red blood cells production. In second form, due to the increased destruction of hemolysis of erythrocytes, these anemias can subdivide on the intracarpuscular or intrinsic, which can subdivide on the hereditary and acquired, and extrinsic or extracarpuscular abnormalities. In extrinsic or extracarpuscular abnormalities, anemia can subdivide on the antibody mediated and mechanical trauma of red blood cells. Uh, in antibody mediated anemia, we have few uh, reasons uh, which can give few types of anemia. It can be isohemagglutinins, formation, it's transfusion of uh, transfusive reaction of blood, erythroblastosis, uh, fetalis, rhesus uh, disease of newborn babies, rhesus conflict, mother and embryo, and autoantibodies or idiopathic uh, primary form which associated with drug, with as associated with systemic uh, disease like lupus uh, erythematosus. Extracorpuscular can be due to the mechanical trauma of red blood cells, which can subdivide on the microangiopathic hemolytic anemia and infection. Microangiopathic hemolytic anemia will develop due to the thrombotic, uh, thrombocytopenic, purpura, disseminated intravascular coagulation, or infection which uh, complete malaria, like the most popular. Uh, parasite disease, which will lead to development of uh, hemolytic anemia. Toxic hemolytic anemia can cause a lot of medicines, and list of these medicines we have here, it can be uh, arsine, it can be acetic uh, substances, phosphorus, nitrobenzyme, phenyl uh, hydrazine, uh, biliary acid, mushroom poisons, and uh, snake venom injection. Immune hemolytic anemia can subdivide on the autoimmune anemia, post-transfusive anemia, transfusion uh, with ABO of uh, uncompatible blood and transfusion of rhesus factor uncompatible blood, and hemolytic anemia of newborn. Acquired hemolytic anemia, in et uh, depend to etiology, subdivide on the immune injury, which complete isoimmune and autoimmune injury caused by biological factors and uh, endo some strains of uh, microbes, mechanical injury, uh, artificial valves and heart, thermal injury, intoxication by hemolytic poisons. Extrins uh, intrinsic or intracarpuscular uh, can complete hereditary type which can uh, complete membranopathy, enzymopathy, and hemoglobinopathy. When we're talking about membrane disorders, it can be membrane skeletal protein pathology, which completes ferrocytosis, ellipsocytosis, will complete membrane of lipids, it will be a beta lipoproteinemia. Enzyme defects complete uh, glycolytic enzyme pathology, pyruvate kinase, hexokinase, 
enzymes of uh, hexomonophosphate uh, shown, glucose 6-phosphate glucogenase deficiency, glutathione synthetase deficiency. Uh, in microspherocytosis of Minkowski Schaffer disease, it's hereditary spherocytosis, it's uh, example of membrane party, we will have uh, these changes in blood formula. The number of hemoglobin will sharply decrease. The number of erythrocytes also decrease. Color index will be normal. This anemia will be normal chromatic. The reticulocytes number will increase, so anemia will be hyper-regenerated. Will decrease uh, of erythrocytes osmotic resistance in uh, this uh, form of anemia and increase mean uh, concentration of hemoglobin in red blood cells more than 36%. The number of unconjugated or indirect bilirubin also will grow up. In enzymopathy, one from example, it can be deficiency of enzyme, in example, glucose 6-phosphate uh, DNA deficiency. In blood formula, we will have uh, this change. Erythrocytes total number will decrease, hemoglobin amount decrease, color index will be normal chromin due to the globular uh, value. Reticulocytes number total increase more than 2%. Erythrocytes osmotic resistance will decrease and indirect bilirubin will grow up. Uh, hereditary type disorders of hemoglobin synthesis. Uh, deficiency globin synthesis thalassemia syndrome in example 1 and structural abnormalities of globin is Synthesis is uh, hemoglobinopathies which contain cycle cell anemia and unstable uh, with unstable hemoglobin. Hemoglobinopathies are uh, the anemia related to violation of hemoglobin synthesis. Uh, we have few types of hemoglobinopathies. The first one is the hemoglobin chain synthesis violation, and second one is the hemoglobin chain structures violation. Hemoglobinopathy, one example of this pathology, complete alpha thalassemia. In this form of anemia, we will have uh, these changes in blood. Sharply decrease amount of erythrocytes and amount of hemoglobin. Color index also will be less than normal level. Increased amount of erythrocytes, so this anemia will be hyper-regenerated. Erythrocytes osmotic resistance also will decrease and indirect bilirubin will increase. In blood will be present target erythrocytes, pathological cells which can characterize this form of anemia. Cycle cells anemia. In this form of anemia it will be hemoglobinopathy and uh, erythrocytes will change normal shape of erythrocytes from <coughs> beacon gave the cycle or young moon cells uh, total amount of erythrocytes in blood decrease hemoglobin amount decrease color index will be normal chromic and undirected bilirubin increase in blood present cycle cells which provoked uh, uh, thrombosis of uh, small micro vessels in uh, vital important organs and lead to uh, formation of complication. In third type of uh, anemia is in pirate red blood cells production, we have disturbances of proliferation and differentiation of stem cells. We have defective gamma globin synthesis, deficiency hemp synthesis, iron deficiency anemia, deficiency globin synthesis, it will be thalassemia and anemia of uh, to, which development due to the renal failure. In pirate to red blood cells production, it can be unknown multiplying mechanism anemia. It can be myelodysplastic syndrome, which have anemia-like uh, manifestation, anemia with development in chronic inflammatory process in our body, anemia due to the bone marrow infiltration. Pathology of anemia. All types of anemia will have uh, similar uh, some similar clinical manifestation. Uh, in acute anemia, it will be shortness of breathing, organ failure, and shock, uh, hypovolemic shock. Uh, in chronic anemia with hemolysis, it can be skeletal abnormalities because expansion of bone marrow, 
goals retardation, jaundice, and uh, formation of gallstones. With defective erythropoiesis, iron overload, heart and endocrine failure. Uh, symptoms of anemia, which is typical for uh, most people. Uh, it's non-specific symptom uh, like uh, weakness, fatigue, general malaise, uh, sometimes poor uh, concentration. Uh, in hemolytic anemia can be yellowish of eyes and jaundice of skin. In central nervous system, uh, in all uh, most common types of anemia, it will be fatigue, diseases, uh, findings. In blood vessels, low uh, pressure of blood. In heart, it can be palpitation, rapid heart rate, chest pain, angina, uh, sometimes heart attack. In spleen, it can be enlargement and liver too. Uh, muscular weakness, which is typical for uh, probably iron deficiency anemia. In intestine, change of stool color, which characterizes hemolytic anemia. Uh, respiratory system, it's uh, changed typical for all types of anemia, it can be shortness of breathing. In skin, generally paleness, coldness and yellowish due to the hemolytic anemia. Post hemorrhagic anemia can subdivide on the acute and chronic. Acute, it can be massive blood loss uh, per one time and uh, in blood uh, loss we have uh, three periods, uh, three um, changes uh, in our body depends on compensation and they will characterize depends to changes in blood. It will be reflectory stage or um, um, emergency stage, it will be hydroemic stage and it will be a uh, medullary form of uh, anemia. In acute post-hemorrhagic anemia, uh, we will have uh, uh, we will have uh, changes in blood which characterize uh, normal uh, volemia, simple normal volemia which will be present in the reflectory uh, period. Uh, then in hydroemic and medullary stage, changes in blood will be different and in hydroemic stage it will be uh, oligocytemic hypovolemia, in medullary stage it can be simple uh, or polycytemic hypervolemia. When we are talking about reflectory period of compensation, uh, it will be due to the full hypovolemia activation of uh, as hormones like catecholamines, adrenaline, and which uh, which will uh, cause uh, spasm of peripheral blood vessels, tachypnoia, tachycardia, increased production of uh, uh, renin, uh, stimulation synthesis of uh, angiotensin, aldosterone, uh, which stimulate retention of the water, which will be present in hydrotonic stage. Uh, hydroemic stage will characterize uh, change of hematocrit in uh, uh, due to the size of increased uh, total volume of uh, plasma due to the retention of water from intracellular space, extracellular space, interstitial space due to the decreased urination to absence of urination, hyposalivation uh, and will lead to uh, total hyperhydration of our body. And in medullary form, it will be uh, hyperstimulation of uh, hematopoietic tissue from different uh, sources due to the increased synthesis of erythropoietin, due to the hypoxia of kidneys, hypoxia of organs and tissue, and uh, increased synthesis of steroid hormones, stress hormones. And in this stage, in blood will be present uh, poikilocytosis, angiocytosis, and reticulocytosis. So uh, it will be hyper regenerative uh, period. Reasons of acute posthemorrhagic anemia it can be rounding of uh, blood vessels, gastrointestinal bleeding, uh, dysmenorrhea in women, bleeding stomach from stomach ulcer and uh, lungs tuberculosis. In chronic podgemorrhagic anemia, it can be stomach ulcer, stomach neoplasia, hemorrhoidal bleeding, uh, uterine bleeding, renal bleeding, nasal bleeding, 
and uh, chronic positive hemorrhagic anemia every time will be a high performance when we're talking about acute uh, this anemia in first period will be normal chronic then can transfer in high performing too. Uh, degenerative type of anemia is uh, groups uh, of anemia which complete uh, uh, pathology of red blood cells accompanied with pathological production. One of these uh, anemia is iron deficiency anemia. Uh, we have a lot of reasons uh, iron deficiency anemia. It can, first of all, it can be insufficiency uh, iron in food, uh, penetration of iron in our body, excessive loss of iron in pregnant women, inadequate uh, nutritional in uh, small children till one year old, uh, excessive loss of iron with uh, chronic hemorrhage. So chronic post-hemorrhagic anemia like complication can lead to development uh, or to iron deficiency anemia, this arthropoietic anemia. In blood of patients with iron deficiency anemia, we will see uh, less level of erythrocytes, uh, uh, insufficiency of reticulocytes, so this anemia will be uh, hyperregenerative level of uh, hemoglobin also will decrease. Uh, color index uh, will be less than normal level and in blood will be present microcytes, anulocytes, anulo, uh, anuso and poikilocytosis, target cells and pencil cells also will be typical for iron deficiency anemia. Uh, when we're talking about different forms of uh, um, iron, uh, serum ferritin, serum iron, in blood will decrease and uh, serum soluble uh, transferrin uh, receptors uh, will decrease in uh, cells. Uh, state of the oral cavity due to the anemia. Due to iron deficiency anemia or anemia of chronic disease should be uh, suspected in every case of uh, glossitis, it's inflammation of the tongue. Uh, like complication can develop in glossodynia, angular uh, hyalitis uh, and uh, uh, inflammation of uh, arcus, uh, the lips, uh, erythematous uh, mucositis, uh, oral uh, candidosis, uh, um, uh, rarely repeat oral ulcers, and uh, burning mouth when uh, no other obvious causes uh, we can't uh, identify. Here we can see glossodynia, it's inflammation of the tongue. In iron deficiency anemia also will be uh, presence nail disorders, it's nail change in chronic pathology which include brittle with nails, uh, with grit nails and spoon uh, sharp nails, it's uh, coin uh, helia. Iron refractory anemia, it's a little different forms uh, with iron deficiency anemia because which arise up as a result of uh, very, uh, the violation of iron including into uh, hemoglobin and the uh, activity of decrease or uh, absence of enzyme which are needed for uh, hemoglobin synthesis. An example, it can be uh, proto uh, porphyrin uh, number nine deficiency. Uh, can subdivide on the hereditary and which development due to the acquired uh, due to the uh, use, uh, negative effect side effect of poisons or alcohol. Iron refractory anemia will have uh, in blood. Deficiency uh, total amount of hemoglobin and erythrocytes, so this anemia will be hypochromic and increased amount of uh, sideroblast in natural type of red blood cells. In the blood serum, the number of iron can increase. It's very important for, uh, for iron refractory anemia, but in bone marrow, the sideroblast numbers also will increase. Uh, anemia which uh, complete same group uh, which combined with uh, pathology of erythropoiesis it's megaloblastic anemia. They caused by uh, deficiency of folate by uh, acid uh, or vitamin B12 deficiency which lead to um, inadequate synthesis of uh, timidine and uh, defective DNA uh, replication. 
results in enlargement of abnormal uh, hematopoietic precursors and uh, increased total amount of megaloblast in bone marrow and ineffective hematopoiesis in this situation. And uh, the most uh, cases it uh, will be found cytopenia. B12 deficiency anemia has a lot of reasons. Uh, one from this is insufficiency intake uh, with food, uh, vitamin B12 or folic acid. Pathology in stomach, uh, it's insufficiency of gastromucopoietin uh, or castle factor, uh, which help to absorb of vitamin B12. Pathology of the intestine, which lead to insufficiency of absorption. Transcobalamin uh, deficiency, uh, hepatitis, and pregnancy, excessive loss of uh, vitamin B12. In B12 deficiency anemia, we will have uh, decreased total amount of erythrocytes uh, in blood and level of hemoglobin blood color index will increase uh, due to the increased amount of megaloblast and megacardiocytes. Typical for this anemia will be lycopenia, hypersegmentation of neutrophils, it's in presence pathological type of uh, white blood cells, and thrombocytopenia. Uh, in smell of blood will be uh, presence megalocytes and megaloblast. Uh, this type of anemia can characterize whole GV bodies and erythrocytes with cabots, rings, which presence in B12 deficiency anemia. Aplastic anemia. Uh, this anemia affected in bone marrow erythrocytes brought uh, on the background uh, of a deep bone marrow suppression and sharply reduced production of red blood cells and granulocytes and platelets and uh, characterized full uh, pancytopenia. Uh, caused by bone marrow failure or hypocellularity. Uh, due to the uh, diverse causes, uh, including uh, exposure to toxins and uh, radiation, idiosyncratic reaction to drugs uh, and viruses, and uh, inherited defect in DNA repair and enzyme telomerase. In aplastic anemia, uh, in blood, we will have uh, decreased total amount of hemoglobin and erythrocytes. Uh, color index will also uh, decrease and will be hypochromia or normochromia, also sometimes present in aplastic anemia. But in blood formula will be pancytopenia. So erythropenia will combine with lycopenia and thrombopenia. Uh, anemia caused by uh, replacement of bone marrow by infiltrative process such as metastatic carcinoma, granulomatous disease, lead to uh, release of early erythroid and granulocytic uh, precursors, lycoerythroblast, and the appearance of uh, tear drop red blood cells in peripheral blood. Thanks for uh, your time and Good luck.